obviously, I'm sure it's been nice to get a result with an effort like that. But yeah, I, I said to our guys after they, they uh, earned it, they deserved it, um, and they had to battle for it, which is even even better. <laughs> you know, you, it wasn't handed to you. That's a good hockey team like we talked about this morning, and um, you had to to work to get rewarded, and uh, I was happy for our guys with that. You had three leads. You gave up three leads. You <laughs> ended up winning the game. Did you just get the sense that's a game you probably don't win early in the year? You're just not tough enough mentally yet to get through it? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're – uh, we we p- we're playing much better than we were earlier in the year, but absolutely the psyche component um, was didn't affect us like it would have, you know, a couple months ago. Um, and we're you know we went right back to execution. Our execution has been really good. Um, there was a little bit of a period uh, uh, sequence in the second period where I thought we would lost a little. There was a little swing in momentum, but we, it was only a couple shifts, and we got right back to our game. And um, that's why I say I, I feel our guys earned that win because we were able to, uh, you know, stay on our game. We talked about that this morning, the ability for us to play our game and dictate uh, the pace and, and uh, sort of make them play our, our game. And, uh, you know, they were, as, as you would expect, they, they were very, very efficient and good on the power play. Um, and we, we weren't quite as good on the penalty kill. What was it in your execution defensively that limited chances? It was our execution. Uh, you know, it's just the way that we played the way we need to play and the way our guys are, uh, you know, that uh, area of our game has evolved. Um, I spoke this morning about Matthias Samuelson, uh, the growth of Bryson, uh, the growth of Darlene and Yokoharu. I mean, those are four young guys that have really taken the lead in playing aggressive, limiting time and space, and they've taken a lot of pride in shutting, uh, shutting off opponents' transition, shutting off opponents' offensive zone opportunities, uh, and uh, they did it again tonight. And, and Miller and Pizik were great as well. I don't want to, certainly don't want to exclude them, but the emergence of the other four, they've, they've become better in front of our eyes uh, to the point they've, they've really taken over. How impressed were you just the way your guys played five and five? Like say two power play goals, five and yeah. five, you had a lot of control in that. Yeah, I, I, I would, I mean, you ask how, how impressed was I? Um, I'm not. It's just the way we need to play. You know, that's it. That's how we play. And, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited that our guys are sensing it and feeling how good they can be. And, and again, taking time and space away, playing aggressive. Um, you know, I've spoken a lot about fearless, but you know beyond that it's aggressive you know and and we're we've moved past any you know hesitation and we're playing aggressive uh, but we're doing it tactically and that's that's what's exciting because we've been pushing uh, through lots of hard work and practice and video to to learn tactically how to execute you know together and those guys are doing it right now what have you liked about that line Yeah, there's nothing I haven't liked about that line. I mean, they've been really good. They've started the three, the last three games, uh, and set a tone in the game for us. Uh, you know, again, how we want to play. They they help the rest of the group identify with how we want to play, and how we can get to our game. Um, so, you know, that line has been instrumental in uh, in the last little bit here to put those three back together. Um, you know, we talked this morning about puck placements, uh, how important it is to place a puck where you can pressure it. That line did that immediately the first 10 seconds of the game. They got a puck where they could pressure it and set a tone right away. Third straight overtime where you had a lot of possession, <coughs> but this one you had some hairy moments too. And what did you think about the way you guys? Survived? I didn't notice that at all. <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, um, we survived it at times, but while we were surviving it, I liked our body language. We. We didn't get rattled. We recomposed right away. We re- recomposed. And that is, if we, if we want to t- speak of uh, growth, that to me was a real good sign. Even when we botched things, we knew, had a sense of how to recover it. Uh, because that's not a team you usually get a puck back from. You know, when you, or, or you don't get it back without them generating a really quality, quality chance. So we were able to get pucks back in overtime. 
um, before they can generate a lot of quality chance. We jumped at the right opportunity, uh, again, defending execution. We were aggressive at the right moments, and we were aggressive as a group of three in, that, in those situations. So um, I was really, even though I was cringing at the time, I was really excited to see how our guys uh, still uh, regathered and, and uh, composure and regathered, regathered tactically to uh, execute. Don, what's it like um, on the bench, three consecutive games, not trailing? Like, what do you think that, like, the group Haven't noticed, like? haven't even noticed that, actually, now that you bring that up. Um, I mean, just statistically, the first goal of the game in the NHL, the winning percentage is ridiculous uh, in favor of the team that does score the first goal. But, you know, I didn't notice that. I mean, I guess you're going in a game, you're, you're evaluating – you give your players a game plan and a strategy and you're evaluating right away where does this game in the context of what you laid out for your team so are they seeing what what was what we expected uh, both from our team and our execution and the opponent and are there any adjustments that might need to be made in between a period and uh, all three games the, the most recent three games I thought our guys went they showed us as a coaching staff, they had real good clarity and a sense of objective based on the pre-scout and our identity. We got to our identity as a team really quick, even though we're talking in the morning and getting them to consciously think about what Pittsburgh does, what they do well, what Crosby does well, or what players on the other team do well. And then you got to kick back in predator mode. And sometimes you, you, you know, the hesitation we've talked about all year long, you're, you're, you're worried about you know, hoping that Pittsburgh might do this or the, the opponent might do that. And we're able to, our guys are, you know, seem to be internalizing, okay, what's the opponent doing uh, in the morning? And then how do we get to our game within the context of that? And I'm happy for that. I didn't realize the scores of the game. But then it, it, it makes sense with everything you're saying that that's why nothing seems to change even when the other team pushes back. Like Vancouver did a couple of yeah. times, Pittsburgh did it three times. But yeah, you know, one of the biggest things, and it was it was even from the moment I, I, I took over a year ago, was you, you guys, your guys have to have a belief, and they can't have a belief if they don't have clarity, and they can't have either of those if they feel vulnerable. And so when you do give up goals in the NHL, if, if, if your players can immediately say, ah, I know exactly why that went in, we messed up this, it was in the pre-scout, or we don't, we don't do that, they can move on quick. If their confidence will be really take a hit, if they don't know why the, they're vulnerable to the other team. So why is the other team overwhelming us? If you don't know that answer and you don't have clarity and confidence to, to know that right away, you will never get out of a, a rut. And our guys identify right away. They know their mistakes. Uh, so it no longer affects their confidence. They're, they're pissed off at it, but it doesn't affect them in, in the form of confidence. And that's, I think, where we've seen, you know, once we're able to do that, you can get a lot of growth you know, uh, out of players. Thank you. Yep. Have a good night.